This video is sponsored by Educative. Prepare for software engineering interviews and half the time at a 10% discount. Stay tuned to know more about this deal. User privacy has been a critical topic currently for most tech companies. On Facebook, you may have noticed that you can set different privacy levels for the posts you publish, to be only visible to a specific set of users like, public, friends, friends of friends, etc. The privacy implementation design can be fairly complex, so we will limit it to a few core features that can be covered in a 45-minute interview round. We will be asked to develop the back end of a system, that will enable a user to specify the different levels of privacy for a post, so that it is only visible to a particular set of users on Facebook. To keep the discussion simple, we will only implement two levels of privacy, public and friends, for this question. More complex levels like friends of friends and custom groups, can be discussed towards the end of the interview if the time remains. Now, let us discuss the design goals and scale estimations for this problem. We should ensure that our design has minimum latency, and users should not experience any lag on Facebook. The system should be highly consistent, as the same privacy settings should be applied across all devices. As per the CAP theorem, we can ensure either high consistency or high availability, but not both. Thus, we will tolerate lower availability in the interest of high consistency. Our system will also be read-heavy in nature. We will need to make a large number of read requests to check the privacy level of existing and new posts, to make them visible to the correct users. But, a much fewer number of write requests will be made to set the privacy level of the new posts. Thus, the number of read requests will be far greater than write requests. For an efficient system, we will have to consider these scale estimations. The system will have 1 billion daily active users. The privacy level will be set by the users for about 2 billion posts daily, and we will need to check the privacy level of about 100 billion posts daily, so that they can be made visible to the correct users. Now, let us discuss the REST APIs that we will be developing for this problem. To interact with the system, we will need two REST APIs. The first one is the Set Privacy Level API. It is a write API to set the privacy level for a particular post. The client will send, user ID, post ID, privacy level enum, and timestamp as the request parameters. The second one is the Can View API. It is a read API to check if a user can view a particular post or not. This API requires, viewer ID, post ID, and timestamp as the request parameters. Next, let us discuss the high-level design for this question. To define the different privacy levels, we will use the enum data type. The elements of this enum will be, public, friends, friends of friends, and custom. This enum will be stored along with each post in the database. To check whether a particular post is visible to a specific user or not, we will review the privacy level enum. If it is set to public, then it will be visible to everyone. If it is set to friends, we will check if the current user is a friend of the post's owner. If yes, then the post will be displayed on the UI. We will also need to discuss how we will store, and fetch the user's friend list to efficiently check if the post can be displayed. One possible way is to store this data in a key value store. Here, the key will be the user ID, and the value will be a set of all the friends that the user has. Since the friends data at Facebook will be massive, it will not fit on a single machine. We will have to shard this data across multiple servers. This data can be sharded using the user ID as the key. We will also need to discuss what will happen if a shard dies, and create a fault-tolerant design. Implementation for friends of friends is an excellent follow-up for this question. Given the scale of Facebook, we cannot enumerate through all the friends of friends, as it will be an extensive list and increase the system's latency. One possible way to solve this challenging problem, is to perform an intersection of the post's owner and the viewer's friend lists. If the intersection results in a non-empty set, the viewer is a friend of friend of the owner, and thus the post can be displayed. Following is a detailed component design of this problem. It shows the two REST APIs and their interactions with the application servers, load balancers, databases, and caches for fast retrieval. 
We have added additional resources in the description box below to help you prepare for behavioral interviews. Do not forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notified about new updates. Also, follow us on Instagram to receive daily coding problem, and join our membership on buymeacoffee.com to get exclusive benefits, by clicking the link in the top right corner of this video. Thanks to Educative for sponsoring this video. Educative offers multiple hands-on courses on cracking the software engineering interviews. They have excellent courses on system design, coding, behavioral, and machine learning interviews. They are trusted by more than half a million developers working in fan companies. To our amazing fans and subscribers, Educative is offering a very exclusive and limited 10% discount on their Educative Unlimited plans. This discount is only valid for the first 100 users. So, hurry and take advantage of this fantastic deal before it is over. We have also added the link to this deal in the description box below. You can support us by buying us a coffee, or by joining our membership. There you can also take advantage of various services like, special discounts on interview preparation guides, exclusive access to member-only posts, detailed resume review, modern one-page latex resume template, early access to our content, and a shout-out in our upcoming videos. You can also support our channel while looking stylish with our premium quality merch on Teespring. We have an exclusive sale going on for our fans and subscribers. Use promo code OWL10 at checkout to avail 10% discount on the entire store. We have added the link to the merch store in the description box below. In case you have not watched our video series on top Facebook system design interview questions, we recommend watching it by clicking the above link in the top right corner of this video, or through the link that we have added in the description box below. We hope that this video and the resources mentioned in the description, will help you in your journey in preparing and succeeding in these interviews. We like to thank you for supporting our channel by smashing that like button, leaving a comment, and sharing this video with all your friends and family. This video is part of the video series on behavioral interviews at Facebook. So, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified when our future videos in this series are published. Thanks and shout out to our amazing members for supporting us on Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube, and Patreon. Your support means the world to us, and helps us to bring high-quality software engineering interview content to you all. See you all in the next video.